in our, uh, it's not only in girls' education, it's not only in the madrasa, but in our universities and not only in the arts and science, but even in sciences. We are not preparing students for that. And I think that is what is needed. And especially in the social sciences and especially in uh, Islamic sciences and especially in girls' education. As I said, the uh, girls and the women for centuries were not part of that system. So to bring them to bear upon that system, to bring them to participate, we have to prioritize them so that they, we can make up the deficiency that for centuries they have not been part of it. It will be a very difficult uh, uh, venture, but I think the, the best thing to do is to give it a priority. And we have seen that uh, even in Pakistan's short history of education, when, given, when girls were given opportunity, they fared better than the yes. uh, male students. Reason? Because they feel in their hearts the things that they were missing. So they pay more attention to education, to knowledge, to knowing things. So I think that is also a symptom. And if we, even if we don't do anything more, if we just prioritize girls' education, give them more opportunity and uh, give them uh, more uh, uh, ways so that they can uh, improve themselves, I think they will find also their own ways. Then, Dr. Sir, how this uh, prioritizing them can be translated into actions, like uh, into proposal, into implementation. Then, the, within that, though means most of the, the organization they are doing, but something is missing that they're really not coming up that result. Well, first of all, uh, I think the, uh, the problems, I mean economic problems, uh, practical problems of providing a, a schools and all that, uh, they are making uh, it difficult for the implementation of uh, different. Uh, so first thing is that uh, there is a cultural problem which is also considered a religious problem although for me it is not. That uh, co-education must be accepted because we cannot have in every a situation the same type of facilities for girls as for the boys. Of course the cultural issues and cultural uh, uh, cautions and cultural uh, concerns must be addressed but the co-education will be one of the solutions that we can provide the same facilities for girls and boys. Uh, as far as uh, transportation, as far as uh, uh, girls uh, working at home and all that, they should also be, I mean these things also should be addressed and more innovative ways. Uh, not only, I mean, um, uh, in this particular case, but even if the girls are uh, helping uh, uh, their households, uh, distance education and uh, our uh, now mobile technology and all that, we can use all these innovative methods. So when they are not physically present in the school, they can continue their education but they must be formally educated, they must be uh, attending the schools, they should, they should be given periods when they can uh, work in households. Uh, similarly, uh, as far as transportation is concerned, uh, we can have uh, uh, makeshift schools, smaller schools uh, in uh, all the I mean, uh, vicinities, even if we are uh, we can use some of these buildings uh, nowadays school buildings are used for other purposes but i think the uh, like univers uh, like government uh, district and other buildings are there uh, in localities so they can be used uh, in the times when the office hours are not there in the evening i mean evening schools can be Start. So we can think of uh, all these innovative ways uh, to uh, to solve some of these problems which come up and uh, for which uh, 
uh, we feel discouraged so i think that prioritize means that you have to uh, look at the girls education as the first uh, foremost uh, uh, issue which needs your attention so then you can look at uh, i mean now it is a secondary mm. so you prioritize other uh, problems and you think that this can be relegated looks up then there is another uh, that uh, critiques also um, uh, that that the criticize the one of the approaches that uh, for example girls edu- education issue is a very much culture rooted and then religious rooted uh, uh, phenomena I mean they are saying that mm, such kind of issues cannot be resolved through project basis six months mm. one year yeah. and then two months and then even if it comes then from where the money generates and then going through the pipe and there are lots of leakages I mean the administration then then at the mm. end some drops the money you know mm. <laughs> a girl's child I mean can get but we get all money you know in the name of girls education mm. means uh, how do you see this one <laughs> well uh, i mean first of all everyone this, would the, the say project that project based and yeah. dealing this one yeah. first part of this question yeah i i i i think i mean i have not uh, studied that uh, aspect but i think the problem is that uh, often times we think that the government is responsible for doing that <coughs> and because of that i think we have not really involved civil society by civil society we often uh, mean the uh, people who are working in the urban areas but the community at large i mean if the community is involved the parents and the people in that uh, safe small rural area village and they are involved not only in discussing it but also discussing the various issues well uh, traditionally they the, all these panchayats and jirgas they come up with solutions from their own uh, environment so if you discuss all these then you can have their confidence and also their advice and i i hope uh, most of the problems uh, can be solved because they are for centuries i mean uh, for centuries the center of powers have been the urban areas and the village have have been always independent and they have been uh, solving their own problems so i think again if they can be trusted if can they, if uh, things can be discussed <coughs> they will come up uh, with solutions but what about the short term uh, approaches well a short term approach is also i think <coughs> i mean formal education is of course necessary uh, but uh, even today uh shorter packages like skill development like uh, uh smaller type of uh, uh crash courses and all that they can also be uh, developed and they can be short term projects but that again i think it will be uh, much more effective if we involve the local communities and Uh, uh, also uh, look how they define their own needs so if we respond to them i think their cooperation will also be there but also i think it will be more practical because our donors and our urban advisors and uh, the big uh, uh, educational advisors might be thinking in different terms but if you look at the goals and strategies and discuss that and how to implement that in that you can innovate i mean you don't have to uh, copy other nations or other uh, other uh, models you can develop on your local models also i'm not expert in that area so i'm okay. just looks up then uh, the uh, there is another also concern like uh, the they are saying that uh, even as you mentioned for example if we go our interior sin uh, we don't find that much you know that rigidity mm. uh, and then we don't find any religious conflict there and then 
if there is Darbar and everyone goes there and then even in Balochistan mm. interior but the education girls education is a problem there mm. then means there is evidence that religious is not at that much mm. if it is some areas or creating a global kind of view on it then uh, do you think that there is uh, uh, and there is a need to talk to uh, to talk to our other institutions like mosque mm. the leaders that they have very much access uh, because from the community a person goes five mm. times a day mosque and they have loudspeaker mm. they have communication <coughs> with them. and then are we missing that are we taking a side and then we are working in a very different way therefore we are not that's another aspect mm. we are missing yeah uh, I mean from my experience I think uh, they should be part of uh, your advi advisory and uh, I mean all these groups uh, you should talk to them you should involve them but uh, what happens in Pakistan is that as soon as you find out this kind of thing then you entrust everything to them and uh, you keep uh, yourself aloof now in that case I mean for instance Darbar is there and people come and go but if you entrust the whole system of girls education for instance that this darbar should take care of it then they will take care of it from their own perspective and from their own ideology and you empower them more to continue whatever they are doing, they are doing. i think what i what i have in mind is that you involve them in your project and get their advice get their cooperation to your project so they feel also that they are being uh, part of it but not let them take control of it okay. mm -hmm.